Hello, I'm Matt, and this is TM85. Today we're going to take a look at the Onyx Books Max 2. This is an e-reader device that I love using. Before we get to that though, if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, a like. If you like the kind of stuff I'm putting on this channel, give it a subscription. Each like and subscription means a lot to me, and I appreciate it. Thank you. This is the Onyx Books Max 2. Onyx for the company name, Books for the line of e-readers, and Max 2, the model of the e-reader. Onyx has a line of different e-ink tablets of different sizes and for different purposes. Some of them are larger, some of them are smaller. Some of them are for reading, some of them are for writing on. Some of them have general tablet functionality. The main reason why I like these tablets is because of the e-ink screen. This is easier on the eyes than a regular LCD or LED screen, and it has a really cool texture and look to it. The Max at the time that I bought it was the largest screen tablet that they had, and I wanted this because I wanted to read comics on it, and at smaller sizes it's hard to read the fonts for the comics. So let's talk about e-ink for a second here. I mentioned it's softer on the eyes than LED or LCDs. Why do I say this? E-ink is actual particles that are put onto the screen, whereas LEDs and LCDs are light that's emitted at your face. You're not staring at actual physical words, you're staring at light on a screen. This light being projected at you can be a little more tiresome than the actual ink of like an actual book. Another benefit also is the weight. Very, very light compared to the LEDs. Yet another benefit is the battery life. Even a smaller battery can last so much longer. When I first had this device, I was able to use it for about a month before it ran out of battery, and it still, with constant use, lasts a full week before I need to recharge it. The Onyx Books here comes with a stylus. As you can see, it has a eraser back and a pressure sensitive tip. The back of the Onyx Book is just a matte black finish with uh, some information at the bottom. For size comparison, we have a regular sized manga here. As you can see, the Onyx Books is a lot larger than that. It's more of a magazine size print. And this means when I read manga on it, it blows it up to a nice big size. The actual size is about 13 inches by 9.5 inches. You can see that there's already an image on the screen. This is what I guess would be called the screen saver. The the screen is never just blank because it doesn't take any power to display an image. It just takes power to change images. So when it's not in use, it just stays on a pretty image like this. We are going to go ahead and turn it on. The power button for this is on the bottom. And as you can see, it'll change from the picture to the main menu. The Onyx Books uses an Android operating system, which is still currently being updated to newer versions. It also has a touch screen which you can use your finger, you don't have to use the stylus. And now we'll go through a rundown of the different items that it has in the menu. First is the library. This shows you the books and other media that you've opened recently. It's usually in order of last read. The shop will open up to the bookstore that is linked to the Onyx books. This device has Wi-Fi built in, and you can connect to your home router or access points when you're out and about. Next is the Notes app, and it's just a simple app that lets you jot down notes or doodle or whatever you want to do using the stylus. Next is the storage. This lets you access the internal storage for the device. Next is the apps, and this is just all the apps that you have downloaded or sideloaded to your device has its own Play Store if you want to go into it, but like I said, you can also sideload apps just fine. And finally is the settings, where you find all the usual tablet settings that you can change. Going back to storage, the older Onyx Book Max, and now it looks like the Max 3, both allow you to use external micro SD cards to bring in your own uh, storage. The Max 2 has an internal 32 
gigabyte storage. I prefer to have your own external storage, but the internal storage is enough to put the books that I want on there. Let's open up a book for example I have in PDF format. It's a volume of the manga Fairy Tale. Now, it has several different PDFs, one for each page, but it'll go from page to page by just clicking the next button at the bottom of the device. This also takes several other formats, such as JPEG, PNG, or CBZ. The device, of course, is a black and white screen, and it looks pretty sharp in the grayscale when it has a color picture that it needs to display. You can also change the pages by touching the sides of the screen. Of course, I like pressing the buttons at the bottom better anyways, but this is just showing you what you can do. The older model took a little longer to load the pages, but this model loads pretty fast between pages. I also read manga using apps like Comixology and Bookwalker. I, I prefer Bookwalker because of the options of being able to use the volume to change the pages, and also to have the pages just go from one to another without having a transition or sliding them. That kind of animation doesn't show up very well on the screen, so I prefer to just have it change one to the next. Although what it really comes down to for me is the price and what's offered on each of the apps. Of course you can use this like a regular tablet and open up the web browser. Let's go ahead and do that and check out a couple of pages. Here you can see Yahoo loading up. It has a keyboard come up if you get to a field where you need to type something. We can type in youtube.com and look at a YouTube video. Of course with the screen it doesn't load very fast so the picture will be kind of slow to load for YouTube but the sound comes through just fine. I can show you what the Notes app looks like. When you're writing on it, it's like writing on regular paper and it shows up on the screen just like you're writing on it right where you're at. Now, a lot of tablets and computers will do this too, but this, again, very lightweight. The shape and everything is kind of like writing on paper. Now, like I said before, the tip has different sensitivities and you can see when I press down harder, it makes a thicker line. And when I press down softer, it creates a thinner line. The Onyx Books Max does cost quite a bit of money, but for someone like me who likes to have digital media, doesn't have room for a lot of physical media, and reads a lot, like volumes of manga a day, book or two a week, this is a good investment to really enjoy your content and be able to take it with you on the go easily. I have been using this device for a long time and I plan on using it for a long time to come. Hopefully you enjoyed this review of the Onyx Books Max 2 and look forward to further reviews in the future.